Hey there, this is Elizabeth, the teaching artist for the Timken Museum of Art with another art tutorial for you. Today we're going to be celebrating San Diego. Whether you are someone who likes the beach boardwalk, getting some surfing in, eating amazing food in the gas lamp, experiencing the phenomenal culture of historic old town, the lowrider car events in Barrio Logan, traveling across the Coronado Bridge to the famous Hotel del Coronado, viewing world-class art at the Timken Museum of Art, or wanna just spend the day at Balboa Park and ride the carousel, San Diego has it all. To celebrate San Diego, we are going to create a poster that highlights your favorite part of San Diego. I chose the carousel in Balboa Park as my main attraction, and we'll be showing you how to draw a zebra as well as how to make your picture look like a poster. The art materials you will need are colored pencils, a ruler, a pencil, and a piece of paper. All right, let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is to create a decorative border around the sheet of paper. You may wanna plan this in advance a little bit before you move to your final drawing. You're gonna create any kind of border you want or you're gonna copy me. You need to just make sure and leave room for the lettering somewhere. I'm leaving room for the lettering up top. I also sketched in my design first really lightly and what you're seeing me do now is trace over it. So take your time, pause the video and take your time. Now I'm putting San Diego as my poster text. So I created that curved line for my letters to follow. It helps me to keep my letters aligned by having that curved line which will be my guide for where I place my letters. You need to leave space in between your letters because we're going to turn them into block letters. Initially with your letters just draw them in capital letters or lowercase letters but just keep them very simple lines at first with no decoration. We're going to add decoration later. Now, to make them block letters, what you're going to do is you're gonna create an outline around all the letters, all the way around. So you're seeing how I'm creating an outline around the initial letter, which will create a block letter. I'm keeping my letters fairly simple. You can add any kind of flair that you want to, but this technique is great for making block letters very easily. For the D, all I'm doing is drawing one line to the left of the vertical line and then drawing the center of the D. I didn't draw an outline all the way around as I did with all the others. This is just a simpler way to do it. Now I drew an outline around the O and then drew a new center inside. The next step after that is you're just going to erase and refine your letters. Next, I want you to refine the decorative frame you created, and then we're gonna move on. For this next section, please just watch it first before you try it. We're going to use a stick figure initially with the zebra. So follow the exact same lines that I'm drawing. You've got the back, you've got the neck, you've got the head, You've got the hind quarters, you've got the front legs, and you've got the hooves. And they're all being illustrated initially with just these stick lines. Please take your time and mimic exactly what I'm doing so that the next step is easier for you. All right, we're gonna use ovals for all the mass of the form, the belly, the hind leg, the legs, the neck, the head. So notice how I overlap the stick figure lines and the stick figure lines become like an armature. They're like the structure underneath and these ovals are the muscles and bones. Copy just what I'm doing. Don't think about it. Just try to copy the exact same ovals that I'm using. 
At any time you need to pause, please do to catch up. What you're seeing me do now is referring to the picture to the right and refining all of those ovals into what the forms are supposed to be, meaning the hooves, the legs, the hind quarters, the back, the belly, the neck. What I would do is watch me go through this whole process first and then go back, start the video again at the beginning after the stick figure, and then try to step by step add the ovals. Then go for your details. It's important not to draw too heavy with your lines. Keep a lighter mark so it's easier to erase if you need to. Now moving into the head. This is a challenging part, but you can do it. I want you to add the details just as I'm adding them. So that means you're gonna pause the video and add details just step by step as I'm adding them. So we've got the head, the mouth, the mane. We're coming back for more detail on the outer edges of the back and hind quarter. And I also need to add the tail. For the shape of the tail, just use a curved line and like an arrowhead or triangle shape at the end. All right, back up to the head. We are going to add the eye and shade in the muzzle so we can see a little bit more detail. You're also going to add a little bit more detail on the far left side of the head around the jawline. And then we're gonna refine the mane a little bit and erase away all the unneeded lines. Next, we go into the zebra stripes. You need to notice that the stripes wrap around the form. So don't just create stripes that are straight from top of the animal to the bottom of the animal. Think about your pencil dragging along the surface of the animal and changing direction as the surface changes. So things will start to curve a little bit. Things will start to taper a little bit. You don't have to be exacting in where the zebra stripes are in relationship to the image provided, but definitely use the image to help you figure out what direction to change as the stripes wrap around the body. Please pause and re-watch at any time to make this process easier. Now that we have it drawn, we need to add the pole that the carousel zebra will be attached to. So we just use a ruler for that and just draw a line straight through the bottom part of the neck, through the upper part of the belly. Take it all the way down to the bottom of the page. And then I'm adding the little step that you need in order to hoist yourself up onto that zebra. All right, and now we get to color it in. This part, you just pick whatever colors you want. One thing I wanna show you is if you wanna keep your colors from mixing too much on your hand, then put that piece of paper down to keep your hand clean. All right, we've made it through another lesson. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking the time to be creative and celebrating San Diego.